called an archaic piece of code that shields perpetrators of sexual assault from being criminally prosecuted. And two Ohio representatives are looking to change that. 13 ABC's Willie Danley spoke to a lawmaker and a survivor today and joins us live with the story. Willie. Christian, people that I spoke to today tell me it's a shame that laws regarding sexual assault were ever written like this. And that in recent years, after conversations that we've had as a society, it's important to change this and protect victims. We want to be a state that protects victims and protects survivors, not one that protects rapists and pedophiles. Some Ohio lawmakers have introduced a bipartisan piece of legislation that aims to eliminate exceptions to Ohio law that shields perpetrators from being criminally prosecuted for raping or sexually abusing their spouses if drugs or intoxicants are found in the victim system. Representative Jessica Miranda is the bill's primary sponsor, and this isn't her first attempt to change this. Lawmakers didn't do um, what they should have done and fix this so that we can get rid of this archaic exemption for spousal rape in our state. It's just the right thing to do. According to a Department of Justice survey, about 33% of rapes in the U.S. are committed by a current or former partner. Ron Shea Allison is a domestic violence survivor and sexual assault advocate. She tells me it does not matter who the perpetrator is or if the victim had taken any intoxicant. It being under the influence, that does not negate the fact that they're, you know, just, hey, take advantage. No, that's not. That does not. Allison says having offenders walk free can damage and prolong the victim's healing process. Not being held accountable and then they're walking around free. You know, what does that do to the person that's been assaulted? You know, they're living, um, they're living in bondage. You know, they're living peeking over their shoulders. Representative Miranda says changing this outdated wording sends a message to the perpetrators that that behavior won't be tolerated. And as a survivor myself, I want to ensure that Ohio is a state that scares off perpetrators of sexual violence. I want to make sure Ohio is a state that tells predators and rapists and pedophiles that you are not welcome here. So what's next? Starting the first week of June, House members will begin to hear testimonies from survivors and organizations that represent them before House Bill 161 will head to a vote. Reporting live in downtown Salida, Willie Danley, 13 ABC Action News.